in all of human history, the most influential person that has ever existed is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because he was the only person to be politically successful and religiously successful and completely change the society that went on to, to change basically one third almost of the entire planet of this earth. To me, one of the most interesting things from your book, when you look at the Fallout 4 movies, you can reconstruct the life of Jesus. The Fallout 4 music reconstruct the life of Jesus. Art in the early centuries, scenes and life of Jesus. Architecture, universities, scientists and their writings. This doesn't prove Christianity is true. What well, you're saying is the kind of fallout we would expect if it were true, which should make us pause and think, wait a minute, why did this guy have such a transformative influence on world history? How can a man in a desert in the seventh century who had no formal education, was known to be uh, unlettered, who could not read or write, comes forward with the most profound literature that has ever existed in all of human history that has influenced nearly a third of the planet. Especially when you think about the fact that he traveled by foot, had no political power, his family was insignificant, uh, he wasn't married, had no military power. Why him is the question you're asking in this book 